Prednisone versus Remicade. What's the difference and which is better? What's up VIPs? It's me, Cheryl Ann, with another episode of Party Pooper. If you don't already know, Prednisone and Remicade are two types of medications that are prescribed for Crohn's and colitis, and today I'm talking about the pros and cons of each. I am not a medical professional. I can only offer you insights on these drugs based on my own personal experiences. I apologize in advance if the mic picks up on my tummy grumbling throughout this video. I just ate dinner and, well, you know. Prednisone is often the first thing a doctor will prescribe you after being diagnosed with Crohn's or colitis, but I don't believe it's a long-term solution. Prednisone is a steroid that comes in a pill form and it suppresses your immune system and also prevents the release of substances in your body that can cause inflammation. Doctors tend to favor this drug for new patients or existing patients that are experiencing a flare-up during remission. Like all drugs, there are a series of side effects like the risk of osteoporosis, birth defects, and moon phase. The worst. On one hand, prednisone can be good because it can help patients regain weight that they may have lost during a flare-up, but on the other hand, it can be bad because it could cause patients to gain weight. Sometimes weight you don't want to gain. The only way to go off of this drug is to go on a tapering dose. So if you're experiencing side effects or moon face, unfortunately, you're gonna be stuck with them for a little while. Obviously, if you're experiencing severe side effects, your doctor's gonna wanna take you off the drug right away, but unfortunately, going off of it immediately without tapering can actually cause worse side effects. I mentioned Moonface is one of the worst side effects of the drug. It's actually probably not the worst side effect, but it is the one that affects people the most personally. What happens is your face retains water and blows up like a balloon, kinda like a chickmunk. Nobody wants this. Naturally, having your face blow up like a balloon is going to make you feel a little bit insecure. If you weren't insecure enough about having to poop all the time already. Honestly, in my experience, when I had moon face, I noticed it and it really bothered me. But the people around me, they had no clue. With the risk of so many side effects like osteoporosis, birth defects, and moon face, among many others, you're probably thinking, why would I ever want to take this drug? But let's be honest, why would anyone ever want to take it? any drug. The truth is, is prednisone has proven to be extremely helpful in severe cases of flare-ups or even moderate cases of flare-ups. Basically what I'm saying is it works in most cases. It doesn't always work. When I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, I was put onto prednisone and unfortunately the drugs did not help me at all. I actually continued to get worse while on the prednisone. Therefore, my doctor decided to put me on Remicade. During my first few treatments of Remicade, I was on a tapering dose of prednisone, so there was a period when I was on both drugs, and I really didn't know where my side effects were coming from. Remicade is a biologic which is administered through IV, and like prednisone, it works to aggressively suppress the immune system, which ultimately helps control the symptoms of Crohn's and colitis. Unfortunately, because the drug is administered through IV, the only way to get it is to go to a clinic, and these treatments can take up to four hours. When you spend multiple hours in hospital waiting rooms and doctor's offices, four hours is a long time. But if it's gonna put you into remission, then it's worth it. Just to set up what a four hour window of a treatment looks like, you're gonna go into a clinic, they're going to weigh you, they're gonna test your blood pressure, your temperature, oftentimes they'll do your blood work, they'll ask you questions about your medical history, and then they'll poke you with the needle and set you up, and then you're literally sitting waiting for four hours. On the bright side, clinics are often pretty nice, super comfy chairs, lots of snacks, free Wi-Fi, and the nurses are always super sweet. Like I said, there are a lot of side effects, sometimes skin conditions, people are known to have allergic reactions, chest pain, shortness of breath, liver dysfunction. There's a whole list of them that you should really research. The only side effects I've personally experienced from the drug was the development of psoriasis, which if you watch my video Living with Psoriasis, my story, then you'll learn more about it, as well as chest pain and shortness in breath when doing high level activities like exercise. That usually only lasts about a week after treatment and then it goes away. The first 24 hours after treatment, you tend to feel really sleepy and dizzy and sometimes have a little bit of a headache, but I promise you, if you're like me, after 24 hours, you feel like a superhero. Like you could literally do anything. I even feel like I look five years younger. Like who needs Botox? So I haven't really experienced a lot of side effects from the drug, but I have experienced things about the drug that I do not like. One of those things being because you're so aggressively suppressing your immune system, it is extremely easy to get sick. And we're talking like infections like strep throat, ear infections. If you cut your skin, you can get badly infected and it really sucks. For example, I was in the park one day and I got attacked by a squirrel. A squirrel literally broke the skin and I went to the emergency room because I didn't know what to do. And although I ended up being completely fine, the doctor said that I made the right 
decision going to the emergency room. But like seriously, who gets attacked by a squirrel? At the end of the day, all of us would prefer to not have to be on any kind of medication. Any kind of medication you take is going to have side effects and inconveniences. That's just the way it is. I can't stress enough how important it is that whether you're considering Remicade or Prednisone that you research all of the side effects, you research all of the risks and compare them with your medical history. Then take that information and go to your doctor and ask all the questions necessary. That is your time and that is your right and everyone is different when it comes to these drugs. So my experience and your experience might be completely different. But keep in mind, as inconvenient as it is being on these drugs, it's a lot more inconvenient to be living with the symptoms of Crohn's and colitis. One more time for safety, I am not a medical professional. These are simply my experiences from taking these drugs. I wish you all of the luck in finding a drug that works for you and securing a remission. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Party Pooper. Please subscribe if you like the channel and give the video a thumbs up if you want more videos like this. And I will see you next week. Bye VI Poops. Let's be honest, as fun as dating can be, it can also be really difficult. Even more so when you have a pooping problem.